You were one of many that breathed a collective sigh of relief Sunday night, but you must be quite worried still about what's happening in the banking sector. This is not good, right? You know, you, you don't want to wake up after sort of, hey, SVB is a little bit back on track. People are getting money out. First Republic has stabilized, you know, and then you wake up to this news out of Credit Suisse and hearing that, you know, that they, they don't really have a, another place to go to get more capital. That's not good. And the market's reflecting that. Well, that that's been the conversation of the last hour, tighter financial conditions. How does that impact early stage companies in particular? Basically, has the funding dried up? from wherever source, whichever source. It's a hard, it's going to be a hard quarter to pitch in. You know, getting net new capital out of VCs who don't already have an obligation, you know, to the money they've put with you is going to be harder than ever. And it doesn't mean it's totally dried up and there will be tons of people starting great new companies. But this is going to be a much different fundraising environment than even a few months ago. What's been remarkable amid dollar outperformance on the day is actually resilience of crypto, of Bitcoin. Sarah, you're in Gemini, you're in Falcon X, you're, your portfolio is looking at crypto. Is this still going to weather the storm? You know, crypto is a hedge that doesn't always act like one. But I think in these moments when people are looking around for yield, looking around for, you know, what's uncorrelated to these larger market moves, uh, Bitcoin does get popular again. And I, I think that, you know, there's also been a flight to, to Bitcoin, you know, away from some of the stable coins after the circle debacle last week. And also what's so interesting is the resilience of some big cap names like Microsoft. Now, many wondering whether that's the chat GPT-4 announcement yesterday, the focus on artificial intelligence. I know that you're in forethought, for example, an AI company. Yeah. Do we have time to think about AI at the moment? You know, we do have time to think about AI, right? Um, you know, Alphabet, Google announced some really cool innovation, and they're barely down today, you know, and, and same with Microsoft. I do think that these new technologies that have a ton of potential are going to be the bright spot for a little while moving forward. We were talking at the start of this year about checks being written. There was momentum behind AI. Similar question, but does that continue despite the environment we're in? I think that people are going to continue to write checks in the companies that are doing well. And I think that AI is a space that is feeling like it's doing well. Um, and people want bright spots. You know, these VCs do have dry powder to deploy. Um, and they're going to go after the things that feel like, you know, the highest potential return bets. Sarah, Clio Capital, have you thought about your banking relationships of late? Just to bring it full circle, I'm looking at headline Treasury Department here in the U.S. is reviewing U.S. banks' exposure to Credit Suisse. And the officials are in touch with European regulators as well, we understand. I think that everybody, you know, learned what a sweep account was and then jumped to them. You know, we'd already been utilizing a lot of those things at Clio Capital. And, and certainly, like everybody, we're paying a little bit more attention to diversifying our banking relationships because it doesn't hurt. Um, and in situations like the last couple of weeks, it can very much help. Right.